Hello YouTube! Yet again, it's been a hot minute as it always seems to be. I tend to do these kind of yearly updates it seems and every single one of them says I'm gonna do more this year and I never do but we're in a very weird situation right now. We are in lockdown and I feel like if there's any time where there's no excuses now is that time. So we're going to get back on it with the YouTube game. I've sorted myself out with a little nice backdrop. I've done it a bit wrong because I went and got bloody solar powered fairy lights so they're not very bright and they might just go off halfway through as they run out of power. So that might need an upgrade at some point. But we've got started. We've, we've done something. But yes, so this kind of video has always turned into a bit of a yearly update. It's a weird time right now though so I'm not sure if it, a full-on update video is what is required right now but in short 2019 was crazy good, the best year of my life. If you follow me on my other channels or even if you've seen a few of the videos that I've uploaded onto here then you have a rough idea of some of the stuff I got up to and if you ever want me to divulge more I can but Let's just say it was amazing. Highlights being Germany, Traumatica. Best job I've ever done in my life. But there was so much more that just made 2019 incredible. And now we're in 2020. On to the reason why I wanted to make this video. I've actually been wanting to do a video about this for a few weeks now. And I just haven't been in the right headspace at all to do it. Now it is the 31st of March for me. Um, so it has been a few weeks since we've all settled into this crazy new thing that's going on with the world. And I'm sure you've seen plenty now of the uplifting, motivational posts, videos, etc. Forgive me if you've heard all of this from various different people, but I felt that this is just something that I needed to do. So one of the first things that I had to do was I've actually removed Facebook from my phone for a good couple of weeks. All I was seeing on the news feed was fear, was worry, was anxiety, was news headlines and mentally for me, alongside with losing my business. That was just far too much to take and I found myself really spiralling from it. So I didn't delete my account but just removing the app from my phone helped me to gain more clarity, helped me to go through what I needed to go through my own mindset on my own. Now I'm at a point where I've re-downloaded it and I post out with the intention of wanting to add some colour into people's feeds, to add some artwork, to add something different, to break up all of the news articles, moaning, anxiety, etc. But I don't really check my news feed. I think this has been key for me to get in a good headspace with all of this. I don't know about you, but I'm a very absorbent person. If I'm around a certain vibe, a certain energy, I will absorb it. And that's what Facebook newsfeed was doing to me. So that was my first point of call. And I'm so glad that I did that. It's almost helped build a foundation for me now to live in my own little bubble even more, which is only gonna help going forward. So that's one of the first things I can say to anyone. If you are struggling with fear, anxiety over your business, over anything, is just to, remove anything that helps feed into your fear. Just cut yourself off from it. Um, I don't have a TV personally. I haven't as long as I've lived in this house. I have been here for five years and I do not watch TV. And that is simply because I feel like all the news puts out is just negativity and fear. And again, I soak that up and it's not good for me. I really felt the benefit of not being sucked into that. And I think if you're going through it, that is the first point of call that you need to address. And the thing is, is I do sometimes think, like I hope that people, I, I shouldn't think this because I'm a, also a big advocate of, shouldn't worry about what people think of you, but I worry far too much all the time about what people think of me. That's probably the biggest weakness, my biggest downfall is I'm forever worrying what people think of me. And I just need to stop that, but that's my issue. But. I do often wonder if people think that maybe I'm being ignorant or anything like that but the thing is and one of the things that I've tried to explain to a few people that I've spoke to who are in this cycle of fear is that 
we have limited things that we are in control about right now. We do anyway, but especially right now. I mean, we all know what's going on, but I can't physically, no matter how much I worry about it, I cannot go out there and eliminate this virus as a person. I just, I'm just unable to do that. I, I'm, I'm not superwoman. I have no magic powers as much as I wish I did. I can't do that. So there is no point in me overthinking and over worrying and getting sucked in on that because the only person that's going to detriment is myself. On the same token, businesses, no one is spending money right now. Nobody. So no, there's absolutely no point me putting all my energy into worrying about where my business is going to go and how I'm going to fix this because it's a much bigger problem than that. There's nothing that I can personally do right now other than keep creating. And I think it is very, very easy to get caught up in all of these things that you have no control over basically. But we do have control over one thing. We have control over our little bubble. And we are more in this bubble than ever right now. We are all in our home. We are all confined. We have control over our little world. I live here on my own. I have control over my house, my surroundings, my energy that I have going on here. So that is what I need to focus on right now. That is what I need to make the most of and so do you. We're staying at home, that's the best thing we can do to help in that bigger scenario, but other than that, we need to focus on what is gonna be good for us and what we can do to better this world once we all come out of this. Amidst all this craziness and amid all of this horrible situation that the world is in right now, we have been given a gift. We have been given the ultimate opportunity for self-care right now. Something that we all overlook far too often. I know I personally do. Since we've been in official lockdown, I've really switched off. I've not really done anything creative and I've just focused on things like working out, going on my daily walk that we're allowed, sorting my house out. And I've just not been thinking about business things. It's the first time in my entire self-employed life that I've been able to fully switch off from work things because there's no point in me fretting about it because there's no work out there so I needed a break and I did kind of think this is what people who work in normal jobs and have normal brains feel when they have a holiday from work I can't remember ever having this mental relaxation and this mental break and it has done me the world of good I know there's still stresses about, about money about businesses but we're all in this together we are going to be all more understanding and more caring and more helpful to each other than ever so as best as you can just put that to one side and focus on this self-care focus on this peacefulness focus on using this period of time to find your inner peace like i said money stresses aside we are so lucky that we can spend this time in comfort. You always see everyone posting about your self-care Sunday, but we're being given a potential 12 weeks of self-care. I honestly feel like when we come out of this, the world could become a much more beautiful place. Human beings will hopefully get less selfish. We're all starting to care more for each other. Whatever happens in this period of this 12 weeks or possibly even longer, we're limited to what we can do with our business, but this is how we can shape our business for the future. What we do with this period of time is ultimately going to lead us to wherever we end up being. It is so important that we just don't give up, that we just don't give in. We refocus, we figure out what's important to us. We maybe try new things that we haven't done before. And we could really use this time to make some of the biggest changes of our lives for the better. The same on a social level and on a personal level, people are gonna come out of this. Like for me, I live quite solitary anyway. Aside from me traveling about for work and traveling about to do fun things like theme parks and gigs and I wanted to go to Europa Park for my birthday, but I can't because we're in lockdown. Aside from all of that, 
this scenario of isolation isn't that different to me from my normal everyday life. But for some people, this is massively different. That is probably gonna be the hardest thing for some people out there. It's gonna lead to a much higher level of appreciation for people, for entertainment, for events, for for everything. Hopefully, we like I was saying earlier, we can come out of this and the world will be a much more beautiful place. And I'm really trying to think in that mindset and I really think we all need to. And this is something I probably want to do more videos on is mindset because I truly believe mindset is everything. Then the world that's inside your little bubble is your oyster, no matter what's going on in the outside world. And once you can conquer that, once we achieve a sense of normality again, you are going to be on fire. You are going to be ready to tackle everything. And yeah, I think, like I say, you've probably all heard all of these motivational kind of talks on this by now. I am a little bit late to the party. I did want to do this weeks ago, but of course it's it's been a very weird situation to get our heads around. But here I am and I've done it. And I think the main message that I wanted to get across with this is just to make sure you are thinking of that bigger picture thinking about how you look after yourself and your headspace and everything within this time period because it is going to be so important for when we come out of this and we will come out of this and that's it feels very much like the end of the world especially to my fellow creatives freelancers etc it does feel like we're losing everything like we've lost everything it can it can be gut-wrenching and it feels like the end of the world a lot of the time but it isn't the end of the world. Like when you look through history, you see there's always things like this. The world has always carried on, albeit changed in an often beautiful way. They always say that the most difficult roads lead to the most beautiful destinations. And I sound a very motivational speaker right now, but I believe in all of that. It really has helped me come so far in my life in the last however many years. So there's, you can play that down, you can laugh it up, you can moan about the people that post positive memes about things, but honestly, you have control of your world. And if you're thinking in a positive mindset, it changes everything. So the point of this video is to try and get you all to start thinking positive, get creative, use this time to fill your feeds with colour, make sure that you're still posting, you're still creating, you're still ensuring that you are on everyone's radar, ready for when people start spending their money again and hiring again. What we do within this time, I've said it multiple times now, is so important. So do not forget that. Hopefully this might inspire one person to just think a little bit differently, get creative, stop worrying, turn off your news feeds, don't watch the news, just pick up the main points you need to know and then just try and work internally in your little world that you have that you are in control of because that is ultimately all we have right now we're all being stripped of everything we're being stripped of our social lives of our businesses of our entertainment our ways of making money we're being stripped of everything we could be wallowing in despair i could sit in this room this is like my little den room um I could sit in here and just cry every day and I've spent a few days doing that, don't get me wrong, but I could do that or I could take the approach of, right, let's get to business then, let's work on all those things that I've wanted to work on and have not got round to and I think that is going to be the key difference and the key indicator to people that really use this time and use this period as a real self-development thing and the people that are just gonna crumble. Don't be one of those people that just crumbles. If you are and you're finding yourself like that, message me and I will try and use my nauseatingly positive vibes to try and get you smiling again and get you creating again because that's what we need to do right now. We need to smile. We need to think of whatever ways there are to make people smile. Money-wise, I'm so limited to what I can do to bring in money, but I've done what I can in regards to the help and the welfare that's out there for me. There's nothing more I can do except the focus on making people smile. And that is my goal throughout this. 
Um, you've pro if you follow me on my other platforms, you've probably seen that my con I've been posting content regularly. I'm on it and I'm gonna be creating much more for you, including on this channel. So I've probably been waffling on too long, so I'm gonna leave it at that. And yeah, hopefully I'll see you back soon. I have no excuses, like I said before. And YouTube is one of those things that I've always wanted to do more of, never felt confident enough, but now look, you can't shut me up really. I just waffle on forever. So if there's any time to do YouTube, now is that time. And yeah. I'm waffling on more and more and more. Keep happy guys, keep smiling, keep creating. Until the next time, see ya.